Hello, welcome to Incubate. Today, we are going to show you how to create product option for your customers. Before starting, let me define what product option is. Product option allows you to create different product features for your customers and offer them directly from the storefront without letting your customers go to the customizer and customize them. You can offer designs you want, you can offer the text you want, and set all of those features in the product option settings and offer them directly from your product page. This is an ideal example of a product option. Here it is a t-shirt and we want to offer some preset graphics and our customers can select any of our graphics from this drop down. They just need to simply click here and choose any of the graphics they want and also they can choose any color variant from the color section they can also select their preferred size and quantity and when they are done with the selection they can simply click on add to cart and and the order will be placed after providing order details just that simple so the per option literally allows you to provide your customers free choices regarding the designs, sizes, colors from the storefront and directly place the order. So let's go back and let me show you how you create a product option. Now go to Incubate App Admin, hover on products and click on product options. As we are going to create our product option from scratch, so we will click on add option set. In the setting window as we are going to create an option for our t-shirt so we'll t-shirt graphics as our option title now we will select option rule here by default no rule will be selected which means when you create the option the option will be created but it will not link with any of the products you have so we need to link our option with the product click on the drop down here you will see few different rules now if you want to link the option with a particular type of products like if you want to link this option with all the t-shirts you have you'll click here and select the t-shirt if you want to link this option with all the products from a single or particular vendor click here and select the vendor name and if you want to link the option set with products having similar tags like socks or like bag or t-shirts click here and select the tag and finally if you want to link this option set with a particular product click here and now select the particular product as our product is t-shirt I have just created here without any variant I will select the product t-shirt before going to create the option set make sure you don't create the product as a customizable here you can see I just left it as, as it is I didn't actually make it customizable so let's go back to our option sets now we'll select our option type here you'll find few option types we need to choose any of the available types for example if you want your customers to type in customized text from the store font you can choose text option type and also the same procedure applies for long text number and file attachment for file attachment your customers will be able to directly upload their preferable files like text file image file or file from a large set of format but, but you need to remember that for text long text number and file attachment options your customer will not be able to preview what they have uploaded or typed in on in real time in the preview section of your storefront which is here but those resources will be directly sent to you as order now let's go back to our option settings first we'll choose 
single choice swatch as we want our customers to choose color of the product this will work like this they can click and select any of their preferable color from the swatch list now click new option this will be our color option so we'll name it color you can add a short description so that your customer can get to know what the option is all about now these are the option attributes and you can modify these attributes with title values images or you can charge extra added price for certain attributes from here as this option is all about our product color so we will add individual product colors in the titles and we'll upload images of that particular color so that our customer can choose our offered color from the color swatch option so these are the colors I want to offer to my customers so I will create attributes named in each of the particular color and I will add images for that particular color as well before going to add the color let me show you how you need to create the images here you can see I have created a PSD file where I included all the colors I want to offer to my customers and made the background of the image transparent I have also added the uh, graphics and aligned them in the same position so that they don't get overlapped or uh, displaced in the preview section now let's go back and create the colors let me just create the colors and I will then add the images right now I want to offer these four colors to my customers and also want to charge extra one dollar for a particular color let's say line so I'll click under the added price column and enter the price that I want to charge extra let's say one dollar now I will add the images of each of the color go and click on images here we'll find two image options one is swatch image and other one is product image product image is the image that will be shown in the preview section which is this one and the swatch image is the image that will be shown as 100 by 100 px icon which is this one so let's click on the change here is my product image I will use the same image for the swatch image but you can use different images if you want I'll click on change and click on the image I'll do the same for the others Now, if you want to create a sub option under any of the attributes, just simply click on the plus child button. It will create it will create a sub option under the attribute, which means when the customer select the certain attribute, this child option will appear, and then the customer need to select whatever you set in the sub option and to configure the sub option you can follow all the steps I have gone through for this color option right now we don't need to create a sub option so I'll just go back to the option list and create another option 
So click on the option list. Okay. Now we want our customers to choose size. So click on the drop down and select single choice drop down as it will allow your customers to choose size range from the drop down list. Click on new option. We'll name it size. Now we want this option to be selected as mandatory. So we'll change the required field as yes. As we said yes, our customers will need to select the size in order to place at custom order. So now here if you want to show a message like please select size then you can actually do it like this. And for this you need to delete the value and set it as default and leave it as it is. Now I will add some sizes like large, Excel, to Excel, and I want another size and for which I want to charge extra one dollar. So let's go and create one, three Excel. Change the added price to one box. Now, if you want to delete any of the attributes, simply click on the red trash icon. It will delete the attribute and we'll start from the next one. Right now, here I don't need to delete any of the attributes, so I will keep all of them. Now, let's go back and I'll create another option, which will be the T-shirt graphics. So click on the option list, click on the single choice drop down as we want our customer to be able to select particular graphics from a drop down list, click on new option, change the title to t-shirt graphics and you also want to set this as a required now. We'll, all, we'll again do the same as we have done in the previous op option. Please select graphics and we'll delete the value. Now we want to add some graphics. Let's say Lego and we need to add the image here. You can also charge extra for any of the graphics, like for say, I want to charge extra one dollar for this graphics. Uh, let's save it. And we're done. Now let's go back to our shop and see the effect. Here you can see our added colors are here. You can easily change the colors from the color swatch. Let's say our customer wants to order lime t-shirt and here is the red star marks indicating the required fields. Let's say our customer selects two exercise and t-shirt graphics cost save. And now if our customer click on add to cart, the product will instantly be saved to the customer's cart and then the customer can order it directly from the card and the order will be sent to you in the order section of Inkway. That's it. Thank you for today.